Welcome back to CulvertRadio.com. It is time for our only pre-prepared segment of the night. It is Off the Wall. Go ahead and show that there. Yeah, yeah, cover up both of our faces. Off the Wall with our good buddy, our friend and commentator, comedian extraordinaire, Mr. Lance stop Morrison. It. Stop it, bring it. Stop okay, it. okay. It. I love you. We love you. We can't oh, stop Oh, guys, you know, earlier today, mm -hmm. I was thinking, yeah, I got nuts hurts. I got nothing. And then I thought, wait a minute. I He's right. Me. I got something. He's got nothing. <laughs> I got something. Lance, I'm Lance Morrison. My whole life is off of the wall. It is. How many of you guys know anybody that has their own alter ego? Um, I I'm, think that's pretty much all of us. My, my name is well, not really yeah, Percy whose name is Whose name is Flem Dorkman? No, you definitely Yours. win that one. You, way to narrow that down. How many of you... My heart like, takes my name really is John Colbert. That was like a choose-your-own-adventure that you, you only had one page to now, go to. Here's another one. How many, do how many people do y'all know that carries a monkey in their pocket? Now, that's that's definitely... A lower right. companion. Right. Yeah, I, besides Gary Busey. I nobody. carry Chet the pocket monkey with me all the time. He's full I, of Chet. So... All my life, I think Chet is off the wall life. things have happened to me. Yes. What a um, Chet head. Who's, who's the most famous worldwide person you've ever met other than the president? Probably his brother. Well, well, my brother, I guess, yeah. yeah well, I'm yeah. talking about world renowned. I mean, he's no probably no world States. renowned. World. Everybody in the world knows him. Mm. Everybody in the world knows him. Guy I've met. Yeah. Anybody. Because I'm he's setting you up for a story here. All right. How about. Uh, James J. Kilpatrick. All right, that'll do. That'll do. I'm convinced I met Steven Point, Silver. counterpoint, the old 60-minute thing. Gotcha. Ugh. He asked me where he could find a sports coat. I don't know. Sweet. Well, let me so tell you this story. Did oh, I Steven ever Spielberg tell you... Steven Spielberg didn't even count? Did I ever tell you the story about when I was in college and we went to... Uh, we, I was in a choir in college. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we went to New York City. The singing tour. Dorkmans. And uh, <laughs> I was driving the van one of the bands, and of course I was wide open the whole trip, man. I was cracking jokes, everybody's having a good time. But well, we're back on the way from New York City, and we were right. on the Garden State Parkway in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about the Garden State Parkway, I don't. They have uh, very nice uh, tr uh, stops. They have a uh, big restaurant, all combo with the gas station and everything, so you get the whole night. Are they trip. also topless bars? Well, no. My God, in this wonderful country. So it is, man. You can so, get your Krispy Kreme donuts and your and your church's chicken you while can, you're getting your gas and your and your pecan log. What a country! You can actually have a gas station right where the ambulance that's coming to save you runs out of gas because of the heart attack that's you true. had from eating the food. So we go into this restaurant. The whole out. the whole yeah. choir piles into this restaurant, and everybody walks in. And now, how many? Like, sorry, I have to set the set the picture in my head here. How many are in the whole choir? There's probably twenty. Okay. Okay. So everybody walks into the restaurant, and I, my butt's kind of sore because I've been driving, and I, uh -huh. I'm out in the lobby stretching. And I got yeah, his butt sore because he's been driving. Yeah. He's, he's in the a lobby full of guys. He's in the lobby he's stretching. Sore. He's in the lobby of a truck stop stretching his butt. Yeah, this this story is not going. There's not enough preparation on the planet to get past that. Go on. That's right. You need preparation. So, I, um, Jay. I got it. I'm standing there in the lobby, <laughs> minding my own business. And the lobby has one of those little gift shops off of the lobby there. And I'm just standing there, and all of a sudden, this guy walks in. Now, this is like May. It's pretty hot outside. This dude walks in in a full jeans jacket getup, button all the way up. His sleeves are all the way down. He's got the jeans on and the boots. Mel, and tell us. Listen, I'm looking at the guy. All right, Bon Jovi. And I go, in my mind, I go, I know that guy. The other part of my mind said, where the hell would I know a really bizarre looking guy like that from? I mean, this guy was weird looking. And my other side of my mind that said, that's Stephen King. And the other part, of my, mind said, yeah. the other part of my mind said, you're on the Garden State Parkway in New Jersey. There's no way in hell that's Stephen King. The other part of my mind said, yes it is. No it isn't. Yes it is. Well, he had three books in his hands. So I found myself following him <laughs> around, trying to see what the names of the books were on the spine. So, well, hold on, hold on. I have to speculate at this point. You're telling us that in this story, you may have actually creeped out Stephen King? Perhaps. 
But get this. Just return the favor. <laughs> get this. <laughs> I see he, he, he wanders into the, the, the bookshop or the gift shop. Then he wanders over to the restroom, which is on the other side of the little alcove there. Mm -hmm. And he goes into the restroom. So I go in to tell all my buds, you know, I said, hey, you're not going to believe this. But I just saw Stephen King in the lobby. So if I came to you guys and said, I just saw, you're not going to believe this. I just saw Stephen King in the lobby. What would you say? Shoot it. You're right. I don't, right. Believe I don't believe you. So that's what they said. They said, I don't believe They said, Lance, man, you've been great. We've had a lot of fun. But, man, we are just worn slam out. You know, we just want to eat and relax. I'm like, I'm serious. He's out in the lobby. I'm going to go find him. So I go. I know he went to the restroom. And I go in the restroom, and it's just like one of those horror movies. The restroom is bright white with those fluorescent lights. That are flickering. And... No, but it was just incredibly stark white in there. And you see Stephen King with his dick in his hand. Yeah, that's just like a horror movie. Oh. No. I go in there, and there's no one in the restroom. I check every stall. And then I thought, that, that, had that must have been awkward had there been somebody other than right. Stephen King in the restroom. I thought, <laughs> only Stephen King could just disappear in the thin air out of the restroom. Now I was pissed. So I go back into the restaurant, and I'm like, I know I saw him. They're like, oh, yeah, sure, blah, blah. So I'm looking around. I'm looking everywhere. <laughs> and over in the corner, there's a little knee wall like this, and there's some legs sticking out with these boots on. So I meander on over there, and I look around, and I said, are you? And he goes, hi, Steve King, and shakes my hand. All of a sudden, the whole freaking choir comes over like a herd of gazelles, you know. Oh, Mr. King, you're my favorite author. I've read all of your books, right? So everybody's <laughs> pumped up about this. Finally, the poor bastard gets to eat his lunch. And we all go. And so we all go back out to the van. Bunch of college students, right? We're sitting there in the van. We're stalking this dude. We're waiting for him to come out. Oh, God. Yeah, this is healthy. And, he's, uh, he's, li he's looking for a phone to call the police. He's actually so, getting ideas for his next book from you guys. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, of course, we, we're college students. We even had a lookout. Did you know? I see this in the stand? <laughs> The lookout waves our arms, stalker. and he's coming across. He's coming out, and we're all going, "Man, Stephen King, wonder what he's driving. Man, he must have a big ass car. What, what the hell?" So we're watching it. He comes out of the out of the restaurant, and as he's coming out, I said, "Hey, Mr. King, we'd love to sing on the soundtrack of your next album, because I mean, of your next movie." He goes, "Oh, thanks, but I think ACDC's got that covered." So. He walks all the way across the parking lot. We're all going, where's he going? Oh my God. Where? He, he walks all the way to the end. It was this big ass Harley Davidson at the end of the parking lot. And he had a little boot on the back. He lifted the boot and put his books in there. That guy was riding his Harley Davidson from Bangor, Maine to Wilmington, North Carolina. Wow. Because he was doing a movie. So, wow. Yeah. And nice. you became Flag in the stand. Yeah. <laughs> Like, All right, that's a great story. Beast. Yeah, I bet that was a. I don't think that's how that started. Well, that's a great story. We'll be right back with GoRadio.com and, well, that was and pretty Flag good. here. We're all heading that for, was for Las Vegas or Boulder, Colorado. Off the wall. Off baby. the wall.